So the employee record keeping portion of it, the actual logistics of keeping those records is really just part of the challenge for you as an, uh, as an employee, employer, of course. Um, you have all kinds of uh, additional challenges that you face, uh, such as uh, keeping up with changing labor laws and screening and hiring and training. And um, so we've partnered with HR411.com, which is a leading provider of human resources support services for small and mid-sized businesses. And they offer a, a wide range of uh, products and support services that take a lot of the hassle and the risk out of your job as an employer. And the reason we did that is because they are the experts in this field, and we really wanted to complement our offering with those types of support services. So as a uh, Peachtree Business Care subscriber or a Peachtree Payroll subscriber, you will receive um, uh, a complimentary subscription to the Small Business Edition of the HR 411 service. So if you're, if you're not currently a subscriber of Peachtree Business Care or Payroll, uh, give us a call or uh, check out Peachtree.com and get some details on that so you can get your subscription to that service. And here's a short list of some of the features of that service that you can take advantage of. So I encourage you to um, go to hr411.com slash sage. You can get the details on that or give us a call. And with that, I will turn it over to our guest speaker, Charles Arendale from hr411.com. And uh, he is going to go through the eight common employee record keeping mistakes and what you can do to avoid them. Charles? Okay, thanks, Mike. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Charles. Uh, I'm the Senior Human Resources uh, Consultant with HR 411. Thank you for joining us today. This section of the presentation will cover the most common record-keeping pitfalls, what you need to do, and what you can do to prevent them. Uh, specifically, we are going to discuss today why record-keeping is so important, uh, which records must be maintained and for how long, which laws govern uh, record keeping practices and tips for correctly uh, organizing and disposing of employee files. Now, so what if my records are poorly maintained? Uh, you may also be saying to yourself, what are the chances someone is ever going to audit my files? Uh, what does it matter? Uh, this is a commonly held belief and it's absolutely wrong. Anytime you update your policies, discipline an employee, conduct a performance review, terminate or hire an employee, uh, you'll be adding information to your files that can potentially, potentially be harmful unless it's done right, so you want to make sure you do so. Uh, employee record keeping is one of those fundamental administrative tasks of the HR profession uh, and it's required by law as well. And if you're not following it, it will catch up to you eventually, um, maybe not this week, maybe not even this year, but at some point that file is going to come out and there is something wrong, and if there is something wrong with it, you're going to be in trouble. So why maintain records? Um, and if that isn't reason enough from the previous slide there to properly retain and store employee records, doing so can also make your life a whole lot easier, uh, as Mike was discussing in the Peachtree uh, presentation there. Uh, first, it helps support employment decisions. Proper record keeping helps to guide employment decisions such as promotions, pay increases, uh, and disciplinary actions. For example, if you keep good records on an employee and you see that they've had great performance reviews, you would think about promoting that person or providing them with a salary increase um, and vice versa. If they haven't had good performance reviews, you would not consider them for a promotion or for pay increases. Uh, it also helps defend against legal claims. Should an employee or one of your former um, uh, or former employees claim discrimination or wrongful discharge, your employment records will be valuable in providing the, re uh, the reason for discipline, termination, or other unpleasant employment decisions that you may have to make as an employer. Uh, having a paper trail that demonstrates a lengthy disciplinary, uh, disciplinary history is valuable in proving your decision was based on objective performance-based information rather than underlying biases. Uh, and these are some, this is a very important point here, uh, defending against legal claims because um, a lot of the wrongful termination, especially uh, claims, especially in the environment that we're experiencing now with the downturn in the economy, uh, are being um, 
filed by former employees or disgruntled employees. And just to give you a couple of numbers here, um, uh, employers lose 70% of lawsuits that are filed against them. And the jury award, the average jury award is about a million dollars. So for some businesses, that may mean the difference between success and failure. So you have to make sure that you use all proper tools or every tool available to you to defend against those uh, claims or charges. And good record keeping or maintaining a good record keeping policies and systems is especially important because it will help you do so. You'll also be able to comply with uh, record keeping requirements, whether they're at the state uh, or federal level. Um, and a final uh, very important reason for, for properly maintaining employee records is that the documentation you maintain on your employees will help prove compliance with state and federal record keeping requirements. A variety of laws govern employee record keeping practices, such as the Fair Labor Standards Act, or FLSA, the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA, and the Americans with Disabilities Act. Um, later in the presentation, we will cover exactly how these and other laws interplay with your record keeping obligations uh, on a daily basis. And we actually are going to take a look at a case study of ABC Professional Group. Um, and let's take a typical 10-person professional services company from Georgia that thinks the record keeper practices are just fine the way that they are. We'll call them ABC Professional Group, as you can see. Uh, and they agreed to let us perform a full audit of the record keeping practices and use these results as a teaching example to share with other similar companies to help prevent fines, penalties, and legal issues that can result from poorly maintained records. And here are the facts. All employee information is kept in one file. Certain files are missing, including timesheets and tax forms. Uh, and these are the results of our audit. Files are stored in an unlocked filing cabinet. Payroll records are maintained for two years, then discarded. Uh, they have hired three new employees in the last six months and have yet to report them. Uh, several employees have asked to see their files following performance reviews and have been denied. Files are disposed or imme of immediately once employees leave the company. All files to be disposed of are thrown in the company garbage bin in the break room. So these are the uh, some of the results from the audit that we performed on ABC Professional Group. 